thought guys that we can turn our imaginary land into a real world? Ever thought guys that we can even walk through with dinosaurs just by using some glasses? Yes, it is possible. It is just because of AR and VR. AR and VR can turn the unreal world into a reality. Welcome guys for our podcast show and our today's topic is AR and VR. For our today's topic, we have one of the legendary person of our industry. He has worked with immensely different kind of sectors and has tributed in this field a lot. So welcome Ajay Parge sir. Hi. Hello sir. Thank, thank you for welcoming me and all these kind words for me. Yes. It's really a pleasure for us that yeah. you visited our show. Okay. So without wasting much time, let's head toward our questionnaire. Yeah, please, Maybe? please. Uh, so when we read about you, we got to know that since 1994, you are working in this field. Yeah. The field you started, the time you started working was not even established for this field. So how you develop your interest for this? Okay, so when I ventured into this 3D visualization in 1994, it was a very challenging. Those were very challenging days when even computers were very rare. Uh, we used to fight to get a color monitor. Okay, so color monitor was a, was a challenge to get. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll let you know about some background about me because that is very important yes. how I'm connected to all these things. Yes. So my background is we have, we are, we are, uh, but by default, we are photographers. So my grandfather started a photo studio mm -hmm. in 1923. So this year we are completing 100 years. And That's it was among the first photo studio in city. So photo, photography was always in my DNA. Mm -hmm. And by education, I did my engineering. And after my engineering, I decided to do some combinations of engineering and photography. So I decided to what can what can be done. So I started with some codings initially with CDAC. CDAC was one of the was the first institution though who started with the coding language back in '93 and '94. So I I went into codings. It was very interesting, but it it, it didn't click me because there was no creativity in there. Very very technical things and all those things. But the, at the same time, I was like introduced to something called animations, 2D animations, and I got hooked into it. And then I started exploring the possibilities. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 94, there was no YouTube, yes. there was no online learning, there was no resources, rather no internet. <laughs> We're talking about those days we, uh, when, when I ventured into this 3D visualization. So my personal liking is I, I always love the engineering drawings also where X, Y, Z axes are very interesting. So yes. I love those axes. And considering that and the combination of photography, 94, I ventured into this 3D visualization softwares. Mm -hmm. So my first software when I when I started was uh, uh, today you might be using 3D Studio Max software or Maya yes, or Houdini and all this thing. Mm -hmm. So the base of all this software was one of the software called 3D 3D DOS based software. It was a DOS based software which was having no undo. <laughs> okay, so very challenging. Was, Without undo, exactly. we used to do 3D. <laughs> so we used to think like, like that only. And yes, so there I started with all these things, with all the challenges, yeah. uh, convincing people about, okay, the possibilities of 3D, how you can get this axis, Z axis, and you can move around with textures and all those things. But yes, eventually uh, my passion was 3D and combination of photography and the engineering, what I learned, it was the combination and I started with this. So it helped a lot because yeah, of engineering. <laughs> yeah. um, so again, heading from 19th century till 21st century, you saw such a great span of yes. a lot of centuries. So what are the key development in this field right now? Oh, there are huge developments. I think you are all like, who, like after 2000, you are all the young yes, guys. Yes. Uh, so I'm talking about 94 is like uh, very basic softwares, but but always my passion was not creating anything in 3D and doing some renderings. It was always a passion for technology is I think the main thing. So uh, technology has grown like anything. 94 when I ventured, so you won't believe there in 97 you can Google now. Mm -hmm. uh, there was first way of virtual reality came in 97 and 98 there was a there, there was a coding called vrml language virtual reality media language and we ventured into it we were so excited to work onto it and we started doing many things in 97 98 altogether but unfortunately your hardware the hardware were not 
up to the up to the mark and it it was just a bubble which came and it just went away uh but we continued exploring the possibilities of 3d and uh, con- consistently till about 2015 everything the, the software 3d softwares were like getting better and better you getting more photorealistic renders then uh, then a wave came when stereoscopic started so left mm-hmm. eye right eye so trying to get some something out of that screen was started mm-hmm. uh till 2015 in 2015 when the first vr device came so we we were among the first people who invested in kickstarter which was the company uh, formed by palmer lucky mm-hmm. in us and we got our first vr device in 2015 we did one project and which was appreciated as india's first virtual reality project by that's autodesk great. that's great yeah yeah so and they published a success story and then then the wave of technology after 2015 is like humongous so every year it is it is growing at a big leap so every year we have like every device from from last 7 years and uh, every year 2016 2015 device is a history so we have to go to to the next level exactly. and now with 2023 we are in 2023 it has uh, the best of the best devices now and it is growing at a humongous pace so i think in terms of technology wise after 2015 it it grew like anything and now everyone is talking about metaverse and all those things exactly. so exactly. so that that's my take on that yeah we will even talk about that yeah. um so now heading toward the another part like we all know that ar and vr as you said from 2015 it has immensely grown but what equipments are required with that okay as you said you uh, use something which is kick start right so so uh, so fortunately or unfortunately mm-hmm. to experience vr you need to wear a vr device a vr yes. goggle yes. because we cannot talk about vr we cannot read about vr every other media you can see on youtube okay. you can read something and you get information mm-hmm. but if you want to understand what vr is you need to wear a vr device and that becomes a problem because penetration of devices have not grown that much mm-hmm. so i think the most important thing in virtual reality and augmented reality devices which are coming mm-hmm. is you cannot compromise on the quality of softwares the content creation mm-hmm. and even not compromise on the hardware side not even 1% you can compromise on the devices after 2015 there were many chinese companies who came with like there was in google cardboard came you put your mobile and you yes. get a vr device so that was the worst thing happened for vr because what happens when you wear a vr device and when you open your eyes you are teleported to a different environment yes. we cheat our brain we cheat our brain to be not here and to some other place mm-hmm. and cheating a human brain is not easy task True. so if i move my head from left to right or right to left so the graphics has to move with that speed yes. with stereoscopic left eye right eye so showing me the correct depth the technology happening is not easy at all so you cannot compromise on the devices the best devices are not cheap so fact. so people wanted to buy the best devices uh, but they were not available in india also so we used to bring all these devices from us that time mm-hmm. and we used to experiment all those things so so the the main question is the hardware hardware side you cannot compromise you have to wear the best of the best device and so you get get teleported to the best of the best part so the if you talk about the companies who are investing in these devices the mm-hmm. first it was the oculus which okay. was purchased by uh facebook for Ooh. 2 billion dollars from from a guy called palmer lucky who was just 23 years old and who invented that oculus in his garage okay. and uh, 2015 last uh, till before covid we used to go every year for the conference and we used to meet that guy every year for the conference and we used to show our work to him so the devices uh these are these are the best devices now mm-hmm. and now facebook has changed its name to meta and the latest devices are meta quest 2 and another parallel company which is working on the vr devices is htc htc vive and htc vive pro are the new devices so these are like two major companies who are working on these devices that's really great to hear yeah. sir um we not talk about like what are the equipments required and everything but what exactly softwares are required for developing ar and vr okay so it's a very interesting question so nowadays So we had been working in virtual reality for last seven years. Yes. So till 2021, hmm. very less people were aware about this. 
सो वी यूज टू टेल के हम वी आर वी डू वी आर हम वी आर करते बट ओके इट्स ओके नथिंग नथिंग ग्रेट डील बट आफ्टर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एवरी वन स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग अबाउट वी आर एंड एक्चुअली इट वॉज नॉट वी आर एवरी वन स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग अबाउट मेटावर्स सो दैट्स अ टर्म दैट वॉज दैट वॉज रोल्ड बट द बेस ऑफ मेटावर्स इज वी आर एंड बेस ऑफ वी आर ए आर इज डूइंग समथिंग इन थ्री डी एंड बेस ऑफ थ्री डी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्स वाइज इट कोऑर्डिनेट्स सो आई थिंक द बेस सॉफ्टवेयर यू रिक्वायर आर बिल्ड एनी थिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इन थ्री डी अंडरस्टैंड कलर्स बाई यूजिंग सम एड ऑफ फोटोशॉप इज अ टूल बट अंडरस्टैंडिंग कलर्स इज वो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली एंड आई थिंक इन इट ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्स अ नॉलेज ऑफ यू आई यू एक्स वेन आई टॉक अबाउट वी आर इट्स लाइक यू आई यू एक्स वॉट यू गेट ऑन मोबाइल इट्स अ फ्लैट स्क्रीन बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट वी आर योर एंटायर सराउंडिंग इज योर एनवायरमेंट एंड यू टू सिलेक्ट द यूजर एक्सपीरियंस अकॉर्डिंगली सो यू रिक्वायर नॉलेज ऑफ यू आई यू एक्स एट अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑल टूगेदर सो अगेन द सॉफ्टवेयर आर बेसिक थ्री डी यू रिक्वायर अ थ्री डी नॉलेज इफ यू डोंट हैव अ थ्री डी नॉलेज बेस थ्री डी नॉलेज यू कैनॉट बिल्ड मेटावर्स Okay, so basically we need a huge kind of 3D knowledge, or at least basics to be cleared of yes, 3D. Yes, yes, yes. To build a another yes, level yes. of world. So I'll just give a give a metaphor for that. Means mm-hmm. in 90s, during 2000, there was a like metaverse is a term. Yes. So now now there are many people who talk about that I work in metaverse. Uh-huh. There is a chief metaverse officer now in big companies. So the term that time which was rolled was multimedia. Hmm. Everyone is used to say that I. we work in multimedia yes but it is multimedia is a broader term what you do do you do audio you do video what you do actually do you to do, mm. do 2d animations so it's a term but the base you need to understand what i am doing into it yes it's same True. for metaverse now everyone is talking metaverse but what are you doing in metaverse exactly <laughs> that's okay so uh, heading toward the next question like how immensely the technology is growing we all know that ar and vr is going to expand a lot in future so how do you think this will impact the future generation will it be in a advantage way or will it be in a disadvantage way so 2015 when we ventured we definitely knew this is going to be a big wave yes. 2023 now everyone across globe is talking about this is going mm. to be next big thing means even the metaverse term because again this metaverse terms came and everyone is talking about but very less people are are understanding what metaverse is yes. but we are closely working with it and why i'm talking about why I'm, why we are closely and we i understand how it is going to grow is we we usually go to all these conferences happening at mm-hmm. san jose and it is not about just the owner of facebook or meta now the mark zuckerberg mm-hmm. it's yes. the team under under him who who are working on that the scientists who are working on those those mm-hmm. are immensely talented people working you require a humongous amount of money to do research mm-hmm. and development yes. which is not yes. possible without which it is not mm-hmm. possible to develop anything so you must have heard through news mark zuckerberg has invested 10 billion dollars mm-hmm. so 10 billion dollars investing he is just going in losses right now but he is investing because he is believing in this and this is going to change so this everyone is talking about this is going to be a next operating system hmm. so when computers came no one knew so i i have gone through all the phases 94 yes. when pc came no one was saying in a hmm. even we have we had a photo studio for 100 years yes. and you everyone now know where are the cameras the roll cameras yes beyond. people have to upgrade themselves so in the same term it is going to it is going to take it like a wave mm-hmm. everyone is going to we, we are going to have a parallel world we are talking about mm-hmm. digital twin yes and we are going to spend our most of the, our time in that digital world going to interact with the virtual people mm-hmm. interact with the travel and you can spend your more quality time with your family or the loved ones yes. instead of traveling and doing all those things so you can cut down all this you can decide about where i can go in virtual reality and where i can switch down to the real world where i really yes. want to spend my time with my kids or family or my mother mm. or father so that's the way it's going to take it like a wave it's going to be a big operating system next operating system so it will be a really a tremendous change for us it is going to be a, a next big wave even uh, uh i'm i'm as a ta- uh, indian skill indian government has formed a skill india nation and under that they have formed a task force uh, yes uh, uh and under which i am as an ar vr industry expert there and even government of india is coming up with all this 
courses for the students to understand. So after 10th, maybe after next year, after 10th or 12th, students can do their diplomas and degrees mm -hmm. in virtual reality or gaming or comic mm -hmm. or an extended good. reality. They can do PhDs and all those things. So you can understand how government is also like yeah, going yeah. with it. They are even developing themselves. Yeah, yeah. So uh, heading to the next question. So where exactly like uh, the technology we are developing, AR and VR. So how AR and VR with this, the metaverse term is related. Like as you said, ki metaverse is a new term. It's a new technology. It's developing and rolling out. But is it related to AR and VR even? Or so metaverse cannot be detached mm -hmm. from AR or VR. So very interestingly, nowadays there are very there, there are many debates happening across uh, everywhere. So you must have heard about uh, Sandbox or Decentraland, which are like a gaming platform, mm -hmm. and they are calling themselves as Metaverse. This is a Metaverse platform, but actually those are not Metaverse platform. Again, I'll, I'll correct. It's according to me. I'm saying mm -hmm. it's not like <laughs> uh, saying anything, but according to me, those are like online platforms. When I talk about metaverse, metaverse is you actually teleport to a different environment. That environment might has to be 3D environment. It can be realistically photogrammetry done mm. or can be a CG generated. And I interact with multiple people in the real time and do some meaningful work over there. Mm. I get connected to the people and I, and whenever my work is done, I can just go back to my real environment. So that's what metaverse is. And to go in that environment, as on today, you require some VR goggles. Exactly. Tomorrow it will change. It will be like a glasses or something mm. like that. But metaverse is that. And even it, so you, you might ask, has metaverse arrived here? So metaverse is not here as on today. So metaverse is at least three years away. Okay. At least. So this is not what I am saying. This is what even the owner of meta is saying. Mark Zuckerberg, you hear him what he's saying. He's saying metaverse is like away, don't worry. And he's the he's the person who is investing on it. Yes. So we <laughs> So it's true. Uh, so you have been working for different kind of sectors. Like and we even all know that AR and VR is mostly used for gaming industries. Yeah. But beyond this, for how much sectors it has been used and how it is used? So uh so this was the question when in 2015 when uh, I went to the first conference. It was the second conference called Oculus Connect 2 mm -hmm. at, uh, at Hollywood and to understand about. So at that conference, 95% people who were attended, who were invited by uh, Oculus were everyone from gaming. And only 5% people, those who were the people, were not working in gaming. And we were a bit confused about, are we going in the right direction? Because my industry, we are, we are very clear, we are not going to go in gaming, but we are going to try all other sector. Okay. And we went to the first conference, it was very confusing. This is like 95% people are talking about gaming, even on dais, Mark Zuckerberg talking about gaming. So uh, you can Google the, the guy called John Carmack, who is the... He, uh, the chief scientist, he was the chief scientist, he just resigned for Oculus. And even on dais, he was talking about gaming and we were very confused. Are we mm. going on the right direction? So post that conference, we used to meet. So when mm. we met personally to John Carmack, we told him, ah, John, we are from India all the way. We are not working mm. in gaming, but you are all talking about gaming. So uh, are we on the right direction? Yes. So he told a very interesting thing to us. Mm. He told Ajay, this is a marketing gimmick. So hmm. if 95% people are from gaming, on dais have to talk about gaming. Otherwise, these people will get distracted yes. because hmm. you are 5% people. But I'm telling you, this is going to reverse. So 95% people are going to use everything other than gaming. And there will be only 5% from the gaming in few days. And then we're very confident on that. Yes, we can do that. And then we started investing in this technology and working in literally every vertical. So we had been working in tourism. We worked we worked on government's Gujarat tourism project in 2015 for their first VR project. Then we are working for uh, for tribal museum. We are working for uh, industries. We we did project for Cummins Limited where you wear a device and you can do the entire shop floor work. And real estate is is, is the most uh, used use cases are there for real estate. So those were like very common. 
and students, education, there are many verticals and we have been exploring all other possibilities. That's really great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so as you mentioned right now, for 2015, your first project was Gujarat Tourism. So what kind of struggle or obstacles you faced at that time? Because it was a very first project, right? So interestingly, again, I will tell you that uh, luckily we have a good prime minister. <laughs> So Mr. Narendra Modi was mm. chief minister there mm. and Gujarat surprisingly was the first state who wanted to do something in virtual reality. Even if you go back and see his uh, talk, our, our prime minister's talk in NASCOM. So NASCOM mm. is a platform where he will not talk about political things. He will talk about all technical things. Okay. At the NASCOM speech also he was talking about virtual reality. Oh, that's really you should good. come up with virtual reality museums and all those things. So looking at that we were very excited. And Gujarat Tourism actually contacted us because this Autodesk published our story as a global success story as India's first VR project. So looking oh, at that story, Gujarat government contacted us and they wanted us to educate them about how we can float this tender. Oh, and then nice. literally I personally went to Gujarat Tourism hmm. Ahmedabad and explained about the possibilities. Then hmm. the team understood that, then they floated the tender. They made sure that you do that. And then we did project and then they got that benchmark. Okay, then they said, okay, now we know what the best core work is. Now we can float the other tenders. And that's how it started. So, so it was always about educating them instead of me telling that this is my off the shelf product, take this. It yes. is always, it is not like that. It is I need to educate that person about what are the possibilities, what mm -hmm. are the, because this is not yet like developed product. Na? Yes, exactly. It is a developing, developing product. For example, when we did a Cummins project, mm -hmm. so, uh, it was not okay, okay, we'll do go there and we'll do a project. We told mm. you, no, it, it is not like that. We need a team of five, six people from your Cummins Limited mm. with our team. Uh, we will teach them virtual reality because, yeah. for example, when you wear a device and if you are picking up a gear, mm. which is a metal gear of maybe 10 kg, in VR, you're not going to feel that. Exactly. Even a plastic glass, you're going to feel the same, and yes. a 10 kg gear is it also the same. same. Yes. So, if, as a client, they might say, Are you okay? Mm. And if it's a hot, I need to feel hot, but that's the technological limitation as on today. Yes. So our challenge every time is, is like very easy. We go them, we teach them VR. Mm. What is good VR? What is bad VR? What are the advantages? What are okay. the disadvantages? And considering that, can we do a project? And then we do a project. Okay, so it's a yeah. bit challenging part even. Exactly. <laughs> to educate the... Yes, educating a client, educating everything. Here I'm educating you guys about talking about what <laughs> VR is. What metaverse is, what AR is. Yes, actually, sir. Uh, so, can you please share some of your experiences from many of your clients or many of sectors you work? So, some interesting experiences. I will give a very interesting. So, 2015, uh, when we decided to do uh, this VR concept about let's explore. So, we had been investing in any type of technology. It means you come at our office and you will see Google Glass. You will see every technology we have and it's like a museum <laughs> That's great. and uh, we love to see those things. 2015 when this VR came when mm. and we were showcasing it to the local clients, local people over here and everyone was talking negative about it because it was the first device. It was very okay. nauseatic mm. but it was getting developed. Yes. So people were not talking about the positivity about it. So we were very confused. Is it is it going to stay here or not? Then we decided to do a uh, test run. So we have every time we do some testings with people, oh, so uh, and then we understand is it is it mm. worth or not. So uh, in 2015 during Ganesh festival, mm. so we thought we we did an experiment with Dagru Shet Ganpati, which is very famous in yes, Pune. So we went to Dagru Shet Ganpati and we told him we want to do some experiment, and they were quite open to all those experiments. So we went there, we shot this Ganesh Arti. Mm during those Ganesh days, during those 10 days, yes. at 8 p.m. when there is like dhoop and aarti uh, happening, you look back and you see lakhs of people coming yes. there and we shot that aarti from just about 7 or 8 feet away from that idol. And next day we took this experience to an old age home at Siegat Road. So these people were not aware of is it VR, AR technology, mm. they were not aware of anything and we went there and we wore those devices to them. We wanted to see how they are going to react. So surprisingly, every person after wearing that device, this Ganesh idol was like in front of them, just five feet away, mm. with that dhoop and aarti, and it was like mind blowing. So immediately they removed their chapels, yeah. and everyone was trying to stand. They were standing and they were doing chats and chanting, and they were looking back and they were so much surprise and everything. 
and at the end of that aarti even we told that guruji to take that aarti in front of camera and uh, mm. when the aarti used to come everyone used to take the aarti <laughs> also like yeah, that <laughs> and after removing devices literally everyone were in tears because they were able to see their bappa close to yes. them and all those things so there we are we are very clear so it is very very based when we went to conference yeah. we understood from this legends there ki mm. any technology which connects to the emotions of a human yes it stays yes yes uh, any technology which doesn't connect to the emotions of a human so when mm. uh, when the those persons were in tears that mm. showed ki this technology is connecting to the emotions yes. i'm talking about 2015 that time this camera is 360 camera is very very rare yes. those were not great with very less very pixelated mm. not that great but again the story was important the content yes. which we are showing was important Yes. so they were not stuck to are ye quality acha nahi lag raha hai ye ah. pixel it was not they were connected to the story yes. and then they were it so then we decided that this is going to stay here mm-hmm. we need to find different avenues and then we started exploring and we'd been going <laughs> all the way so it was like a storytelling and it connected a lot yeah, yeah it connected and we had been doing all this even even recently 2020 also we did same same concept but this time we brought ganesh arthi in metaverse Oh. and we did a very interesting experience where 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 again the same concept was there this time we decided to because this this year 2022 uh, all mandals were open so ah, people yes. were allowed to go yes. so we thought why not take this experience to the people who are not able to go there so mm. we went to hospitals mm. and we went to sasun mm. and we went to different hospitals during those 10 days our team was there mm. with 10 devices with the gudushet trust people and when this person used to wear a device it was same experience a hmm. passive experience like 2015 like 7 years back because the ganesh idol was there but we added a layer of metaverse so where we added a layer of metaverse was we we brought this uh, guruji of the gurushet at our studio oh. and he was wearing a device and after wearing it he, he in his avatar he was also standing next to that guy in front of ganesh idol So after that person, after wearing this device, he used to say he used to look at that. But as soon as he hears that our IT IT person used to tell our this Guruji that okay, Mr. Joshi is coming, mm-hmm. and he is in Sasun Hospital. So this Guruji used to be aware of what he who who he is going to meet. Yes. Then while taking the darshan, he used to hear that Namaskar Joshi, oh. and he used to go like, "Avat kutu ne toh," and looking at the left, he used to see Avatar. the meta avatar you are, everyone is aware you used to see avatar and used to see you can see your hands inside mm-hmm. ki namaskar joshi kashat and used to be wow oh, used to get shocked first then used to go oh, me na changle mast hai me kay tumhi kon mato ne me me guruji somane me dagdu shet cha trust cha man e tumcha sathi apan aarti karnar hota ta chala tar apan aarti karu ata ma tumhala ekdam bara vatel ani ma te mane ta ha tal karo samor dagdu shet lok ani ma te mane ta sanga tumcha naav kay मग ते जोशी तुमचं गोत्र काय टिपिकल ते मग ते गुरुजी त्यांच्या आरती म्हणणार आणि म्हणा आता तुम्ही बरं वाटेल तुम्ही लवकर घरी जा चला आणि दॅट पर्सन अगेन युज टू गो इन टीयर्स लाईक एनिथिंग अँड सो दिस सो दॅट पर्सन वॉज नॉट नोईंग ही वॉज इन ही वॉज डुईंग अ मेटावर्स ही वॉज डुईंग वी आर ही वॉज डुईंग फलाना फलाना द स्टोरी इज यू द टेक्नॉलॉजी हॅज टू टेक अ बॅक स्टेप back stage and he the person has to connect to the story i think that's the most important thing whenever you develop anything think of making your technology invisible yes then only there is a success otherwise if that person stucks after removing that device if he talks about your master technology mm-hmm. guy that's a failure exactly. he should talk about the story mm-hmm. which we tried to tell so this is this is how we are doing all this thing so the basic point is the person should enjoy what experience we are going through our yeah. technology yeah. not the technology you should exactly okay uh, so you work with so many different sectors and as you said ki like even sound was important for all this hmm. the current project you yeah. did even sound was important so how you manipulate the sound very interestingly now if you wear a vr device for example mm. i am in a vr environment and if you are talking from my left hand side uh, yes. so i should hear my audio mm. from my left ear Yes. And if someone is talking from my right, I should hear. So that is called a special sound. Okay. So nowadays you can capture your sound with mm-hmm. special technology, and then you import that in VR. Okay. So at next level, so nowadays when we we usually do at our office these virtual work rooms. We uh, when I am traveling abroad mm-hmm. somewhere, so I wear a VR device and I meet my team in virtual work room. 
So virtual workroom is like this room and we all are sitting and if I come close and I whisper, they will not hear. Oh. It is not a not like loudspeaker. So That's it understands the distance, it understands the special sound mm -hmm. and it is going to play the most important role next time. Oh, that's, that's really great. Yeah. And um, as you mentioned that there are some special equipments for this. So can you please elaborate like what are they? Recording like? equipment. So there are uh -huh. high-end cameras nowadays mm -hmm. you can, by which you can record this 360 environment. Mm -hmm. uh, different cameras. If you, there's, a, there's a camera called Matterport which captures your environment uh, mm -hmm. with cloud technology, point cloud technology. Then you have different cameras to record the live shoots yes. and all those things. There are different cameras. You can Google mm. and you can find because these are also so much up mm. upgrading, um, changing uh, like anything. Yes, that is even it true. So heading towards the next question. Yeah. Um, so we all know that as you have been mentioned a lot of time in the interview, the very trendiest part and even we are still confused about this or uh, not getting a simple definition of it that is of metaverse. So in a simple term, how you can elaborate it? So simple term is metaverse is you you teleport mm -hmm. by wearing some device. I'll talk. I'll mm -hmm. not talk about any device. You should teleport to a virtual environment mm -hmm. and interact with the real people in their avatars mm -hmm. and do some meaningful work True. and then come back. That's metaverse. <laughs> it's simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay. Uh, so there are some like uh, like us there are some students who are really eager to come in this field or mm. who are curious like how this field is working mm. so is there any specific pipeline for this or how the pipeline work so the pipeline is very simple mm. so there is nothing like metaverse course <laughs> there is nothing like metaverse course mm. so below metaverse it is all about creating content okay. what you are trying to create content it might be live action mm. the, the the film which we shot at mm. it was a live action yes. and then we combined that with the avatars okay okay so that's mm. a live if you're talking about cg mm. cgi animation you have to create everything from 3d yes. and 3d 3d softwares remain same True. traditional softwares you have to understand x y z coordinates you need to understand mm -hmm. texturing you need to understand lighting you need to understand all those things mm -hmm. and after that the the most important thing for creating any metaverse experience is real-time rendering Okay. Because if you do anything in Maya or 3D Max, it needs to be rendered. Hmm. It yes. is not real time. So to make it real time, you need to bring that in a gaming engine. Okay. So currently there are two gaming engines, popular gaming hmm. engines is Unreal and Unity. Yeah, so you need is. to un learn Unity and Unreal. Okay. Again, if you talk about Unity and Unreal, those are not 3D modeling softwares. Okay. So you have to model something in different, in different software. software, like if you... Hmm. If you want to buy a free software, Blender is a free software. Yes. So you can learn from Blender, bring it into Unity or Unreal and bring it into VR. Okay. It's like that. It's, okay. it's like that. And then the experience becomes a metaverse. Hmm. True. So it's just a simple... It's like that. Just a simple pipeline for this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so what you can suggest the youngsters, those who are willing to come in this field, like what passion they should keep or what creative skill they should have within themselves to come over here so so we are currently even working closely with government of india right now mm. and we are understand how this is going to be when we talk about metaverse world mm. or digital twin or parallel world yes. the entire world is going to be a 3d world yes so we need to understand we need to create a 3d world mm. so if our young generation can create those 3d world at a, at a big pace so mm -hmm. India can be a global hub for creating metaverse world. That will be I think that's the most important task which we are mm -hmm. working right now. Why we are pushing students to understand that? Because the future world, when when after three or five years, this is going to mm -hmm. be very very basic. This interview will be in metaverse. Yes. And so that time, this environment is going to be 3D. So who? Yes. So there, there will be people requiring to create those 3Ds. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if we can start learning today. Mm -hmm. So we'll be well ahead yes, and with true. with the youngest generation across globe what mm. India is have today. So we can be a global hub for creating VR content, metaverse content, AR contents. Mm. So that's where I think that's the biggest opportunity right now. Like, that's really great. Yeah. Everyone should. So basically learn what base of 3D is like, as you said. Exactly. XYZ. XYZ locally. 
Um, sir, uh, this one is even a question. Like, as you said, ki, like 3D is best for uh, VR and AR things. So, while learning 3D, there might be some students facing some problems. So, hmm. what basics they should clear at that time? So, basic is, I think, understanding 3D is very simple. Hmm. I started like that. I think that's very core of 3D understanding. Any student, if he comes here, you can show him anything like this books, yeah, mm -hmm. and he need to visualize ki how these books are going to look from top view. Okay. It's not going to be like this shape, na? Mm. It's just a rectangle. Yes. How I'm going to see these books from my right hand side view? He has to visualize it. Mm. So visualizing is the most important thing which he should understand first. He should start learning visualizing. 3D softwares are tools. Yes. You cannot start with 3D softwares. You need to understand what visualization is. And if you're if you're not that good in visualization, mm -hmm. okay, then you have different options. It is not okay, okay that's a dead end for me. I cannot yes. do anything in yes. here. It's not like that. So there are there will be people who will be building 3D for you. Then you can add textures. There are texture mm -hmm. artists, there yes. are lighting artists, there are camera angles, and hell, huge number of options are available. But visualization, I think, is the most important thing. You should hmm. come up with some ideas, some, some, you need to visualize first. Yes, that's true, sir. And uh, as mentioned, like coding somewhere is useful in this. So how much part coding just give for the AR and VR? Nowadays, coding is not that required. Uh, you can go and check out, we are using Unreal. Hmm. We have a team of about 25, 40 people at our studio. More are artists because hmm. what happens, coding is, is something like more mathematical yes if you talk about mathematics people person he will be a less visualizer yes he will not understand about colors textures yes. he will talk more technical mm -hmm. and if you talk about a visualizer mm -hmm. he will not understand coding yes. so nowadays for example if you talk about unreal there's a there's a concept called blueprint in that hmm. where is like visual visual coding is there okay and now with the new trend of Artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. your machines are there to do all codings for you. Exactly. <laughs> will be there, I hope. <laughs> so, in so, so I am not a coder. In spite, I am an engineering background, but I am not a coder. Mm -hmm. I went to CDAG and I, I said, okay, this is not my cup of cake. <laughs> I want to be with colors, lights and cameras and all those things. So but I could, I am able to do all this work. So, But it's not, if you have that coding language, it will definitely help you to take mm -hmm. it to different level. And if you have coding language and colors and all the combination, mm -hmm. then you are among the top 5%. <laughs> that will be a great. That will be great. You consider Actually, yourself. So, this is the just end okay. for the interview. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me and sharing my learnings. I will follow. No, it is actually our pleasure that you educated Thank us you. regarding all these things. And okay. education of these things is really necessary. Yes, yes. Because... As we all know, AR and we are still in a developing stage. Yeah. So, getting yeah. such great knowledge from you is really a pleasure for us. Right, uh, thank you. Any few words you would like to tell more to the youth regarding this? Believe in this. <laughs> True. Believe in this technology. This is going to be a next operating system for sure. That's it. <laughs> thank you so much okay. for this. Okay. It was really a pleasure to have a talk with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello guys. Hope you all must have enjoyed our today's podcast. It was immensely about interesting fact, myth and knowledge about AR and VR. Even we got to know what is metaverse in a simple short language. Hope you all must have enjoyed and hope you all must take an extra effort to come in this industry. Stay tuned guys for our new podcast. Thank you so much.